Hi, I'm Dennis Weiss. Welcome to our town. We have Doug Nettleman, a friend of ours from Great Plains Theater, the artistic director there. And Doug, I invited you today to talk about all the great things that go on at Great Plains Theater. And right now, you're, you're just a few weeks away from Shout, the Mod Musical. Yep. I had to go Google that. <laughs> Gotta tell you, I went and Googled it, and it sounds kind of fun. It is fun. It is fun. Lots of great 60s music. Uh, you know, it goes probably 62 through 1970, so a lot of changes for, uh, for females during that time, and it's five women in the play. Uh, it's a musical, so a lot of great 60s songs like Wishing and Hoping, uh, To Sir With Love. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, those were the days. Uh, just all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, I, I, I see it is playing all over the world. Yeah, yeah, it's, definitely. Um, they had, there was a lot of content from England. There was a lot of content from the United States where mm -hmm. it's playing today. Yeah. And um, it's been a long running play. Yeah. And, it, and I'd never heard of it. So maybe that's not indicative of anything other than me, I got to <laughs> tell you. But once I saw it, it, it kind of sounded like it would be an interesting uh, play. Yeah. But a great musical. Definitely, definitely. We've learned through the years at Great Plains Theater that our patrons really enjoy musicals. Um, they just like to hear music. They like something that's familiar to them. And this show is definitely a show for them. We've got uh, five women in the cast. Uh, basically, the premise of the show is Shout is a magazine. Sort of, if you think of it as like a cosmopolitan or uh, a woman's daily sort of magazine uh, okay. during the 60s. So there's advice columns in there, uh, fashion uh, you know, advice and whatnot. And so we've got these five women sort of going through the, through the through the 60s, um, growing, learning, uh, advancing in their careers, et cetera, all of the changes that were happening for mm -hmm. women during that time. Uh, and a lot of it's told through songs. Um, so it's a, it's a good time. Mini skirts and knee boots too, <laughs> evidently. Probably a That's couple all of go-go boots. All the <laughs> pictures that were uh, um, promoting the play. Yeah, absolutely. All mini skirts and knee boots. So, yeah, the fashion. Okay, that was the 60s, all the right. Fashion was, was definitely, definitely progressing through that yeah. time as well. So. I don't know about progressing, but it sure was changing. <laughs> Maybe getting a little shorter. It was going up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. Um, Shout the Mod musical yeah. starts in October. It does. We open October the 10th and we close the 19th. Okay. We're going to be doing this production over at Chapman High School, which is my high school uh, and middle school alma mater. That's yeah. where I went to school. It's kind of a different facility now. When I go back there, it's a completely different place. Isn't it a fantastic It arena? really is. It really is a Gosh. nice facility. You know, I. Uh, the tragedy of the theater burning down, I, I don't know that we'll ever really get all the way past that. Yeah. You, things that affect you that way are, are just hard. Yeah. But what an incredible coming together mm -hmm. um, that the community has shown to be able to have this season continue. Definitely. And the fact that you're in Chapman USD 473 is a testament to that. Mm -hmm. Just the way that your first show this year was at 435 here in Abilene yeah. is those folks have really opened their house and mm -hmm. said, look, use our facilities, uh, keep the thing going. Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, we had just started our 20th anniversary season in June, uh, got through our second show in July, and then the fire happened late July. And so uh, Denise Guy here in Abilene said, come to the high school. Uh, and it worked out great. It went very, very well with Always Patsy yeah. Klein there. And yeah. we were just at the Civic Center uh, for our fourth production. And now here we are at our fifth over at Chapman High School. And it's just gonna be a great time. You know, there's something to be said for a traveling music show. Sure. I gotta tell you, yeah. I just think it's fun. You know, um, in my business and, and somewhat in yours as well, have the same challenges, but mm -hmm. from different perspectives. We try to get people to come to us. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I wanna sell you my products. You wanna sell them your products, but being able to get to the customer is limited to me. Mm -hmm. I can't really jack up my company and go to them. But in this case, you are physically moving your company mm -hmm. to Chapman, mm -hmm. which is not very far away, but there's a, it's on the edge of a totally different 
population group, Absolutely. and that's a group that's coming out of Fort Riley and yep. Manhattan Junction City. So Correct. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Me here. too, and I really, really do hope that we can extend our reach a little further in that direction and pull, you know, toward us. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we have such great patrons here in town, and and a lot of our patrons come from out of town, and so they've been so great to to travel with us through all of these locations, mm -hmm. and and so I'm hoping that we can extend that reach and, and pull in some people from Fort Riley and Junction City. You know, new people are hard to reach. Sure. Uh, the, if you, on the, let me think about my direction, certainly on the northeast side of Chapman is a mm -hmm. lot of new construction. Mm -hmm. And a lot of military families come and go through mm -hmm. that portion of the community. Uh, when we had uh, Lacey Sell on camera not too many weeks ago, we talked about that phenomenon. Mm -hmm. But they're hard to reach. Yeah. Um, they're not native to our communication trails sure. here so they're hard to reach but the other side of that is the fort riley command is very interested in integrating their people into our community so yeah. here we have two groups you and them who are both would like to put some people in some seats mm -hmm. in chapman and mm -hmm. show them a good time and welcome to the community so absolutely hopefully things like this will help i hope so we'll try to get some of this uh, content over toward fort riley cool but would sure love to have some big red ones Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we, we have 750 seats at the uh, Chapman High School Auditorium. Wow. And, and while, you know, we might not fill every <laughs> single one of those, it would yeah. definitely be nice to have a nice crowd turn up for this production. Yeah. It's going to be super enjoyable and just a lot of fun for people. I think there's going to be some promotional things. I've, I've heard just things go by the wind, mm -hmm. you know, that, that we're going to try to do some outreach for you. Cool. And you're asking some other people to do some outreach for you. So yeah. I'm hopeful that we'll get enough word out there on the street that maybe some brand new people yeah. who've never been to a musical, a Great Plains play in our area will come. Yeah, and I think this would be the perfect, perfect one for it, especially with the time frame of music. I mean, my mom grew up in the 60s, graduated high school in 1969, so all of these songs in the show, I'm like, I know these songs because my mom <laughs> has shared them with me or we've yeah. heard them on the Oldies Channel, yeah. uh, which anymore the Oldies Channel is now playing like 80s songs, which yeah, is terribly strange, yeah, but I agree that's not that. Oldies to me. Um, it's more of the 60s stuff and the 70s, but, but I love 60s music. It was just a great era uh, of, of progression with music and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so to present mm -hmm. that with these amazing singers that we have coming in for the show is gonna be a real treat. You know, I don't know how many people watching will know the names of the mm -hmm. people you're bringing in. Sure. But you and I can certainly talk about, wow, does Great Plains have a wonderful track rate record of putting some singers on stage. Absolutely. The, the, I think there's a reason people like the musicals. It's just, there's great music yeah. and you've been able to, and that's one of the jobs you do for mm -hmm. Great Plains. You go find those people, you mm -hmm. select those people, you put them on the stage in the roles. Yep. So we've got some great singers. We the, really do. Yeah, there's five women in the show. Um, I have Sam, Sam, Sarah, Sarah, and Madison. So <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult to remember names, I hope. <laughs> yeah, uh, it just come on the right one. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and then I've got a, a two keyboard players coming in for the show, one from New York and the other is from right here in Abilene, a woman named Patty Mayhew, who is just like the coolest lady I've met That's in quite great. a while. And That's so it's great. great to incorporate her into the production as well. But yeah, the five women in the show, I have Sam, Sam Disney, uh, who was here last season for Steel Magnolias. Okay. She played Shelby. She's a beautiful girl and a great singer. A girl named Samantha Barboza, who was here for a couple of shows last season as well from Kansas City. Great singer, great person. Uh, I have a girl named Sarah Misco, um, which mm -hmm. many of our patrons are familiar with Sarah. She's worked with us before and her right. husband Michael as well. And they'll be in our Christmas production. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Bellawari, who uh, recently graduated from K-State. So it's oh. great to have a uh, a, a Kansas Super. girl in the production yeah. who just recently graduated. And then Madison graduated recently from Millican University in Decatur, Illinois. Okay. Uh, and she's a great singer, a great person as well. So it's going to be fun to get them all together and just sort of see the magic that happens. And, you know, they always say like casting is 90% is of the job, just getting a good group of people together yeah. and seeing what happens. And so I'm wholly confident that all of them are going to have a great, great rapport with each other and put on a great show. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a bad one. Oh, thanks. I just, uh, I don't think so. Um, yeah. I, I, the, the music has always been spectacular. You know, the, I find it so generous that, that uh, 
Dr. Guy and Lacey Sell mm -hmm. have opened their doors to us because of the auditorium mm -hmm. is a very important thing. You know, I was very surprised with the acoustics we got out of the depot yeah. this time yeah. on the last play here. Uh, it's just a big old rock building, yeah. a lot of bouncing, but you guys did some things that softened mm -hmm. that sound a little bit. But the auditorium at Chapman will be fantastic. Oh, definitely, definitely. And they've got great equipment over there, great lighting. Our, uh, our intern that does sound and lighting is very excited because he's worked with the lighting system before Super. Uh, at his school. And so I think he's going to do some amazing lights for the production. Yeah. And it's just very colorful and very jubilant and fun. So yeah. okay. fun for everybody. All right, now that's Shout the Mod Musical, yeah. that's next. But yep. then you have two, some heav couple of heavyweights to finish yeah, the year. Yeah, absolutely. It's our 20th season, so we wanted to really do a lot of you know variety, a lot of uh, uh, stuff to connect and give people just some different ideas of theater and touch on different things. So after Shout in November, we have Driving Miss Daisy, which we've done before. It's been many years, uh, but this production will be at the Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum, yeah. be in the auditorium of the library building, which is a 133 seat theater, uh, great little theater, cute vintage uh, space, uh, three actors in the play. Benita Hansen, who has worked with us many times throughout the past uh, probably 10, 15 years, is coming to play Miss Daisy and she's going to be outstanding mm. and just a really kind soul to work with. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's in November and then we're ending the season uh, with White Christmas, which will also be at Chapman High School Auditorium. Yeah. Great big show and uh, just a great way to end the year and a great celebration of our 20th anniversary. Some of the things that, that Brian has done for us over the years that you may not know about, mm -hmm. it, it, there's, I'm, I'm gonna connect them. Our local high schools and some of the colleges close to us at Christmas time do fantastic music. Absolutely. And they have a long history of it, but they generally do it to their own population. Sure. So Brian has taken the camera and we've, we've publicized many of those and we've kind of have it in Christmas time. I don't get to see him much because he gets in a van and he's gone. But there is a lot of opportunity to get that out in the public domain. Yep. With White Christmas this year, the Great Plains Cedar gets to add to the body of that work, but again, you'll, you'll be in a fantastic arena definitely, to do that. Definitely. So I'm really excited that we can get enough publicity out that I'd like to see White Christmas stretch the boundaries on Chapman's Definitely. Seating. We have great, great groups already booked for the production. We had to adjust some of our schedule uh, and, and uh, adjust our Wednesday matinees because sure. school's in session. Sure. So, uh, so that wasn't going to work out. However, it worked out that the auditorium was so big that we could get some of those larger groups onto a different production yeah. date yeah. and it would work out uh, just as well. Yeah. So That's yeah. fantastic. It really is. The, uh, I think the exciting thing for me, uh, and I'm a little warped here, but some of the people who watch know that, and you are, you're about to. Gosh, anybody can do easy things, but rebuilding a company while your facility burns down in the middle is a, is a task that's not for the faint of heart, as you True. all have, have uh, figured that out. But for the community itself, what an opportunity for people to stand up as Dr. Guy and Mrs. Sell have done mm -hmm. and say, we're here to help. The thing that is probably not mentioned, I haven't mentioned today, but I'm about to right now, is Carl Weisenbach at mm -hmm. the Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum. Carl always stands up, mm -hmm. but I don't think people understand how far you have to stand up to get a play in, uh, yeah. in, a, in a NARA archive center right and Carl has went to great lengths to open his door because it's so important for Abilene mm -hmm. as a community to see Great Plains continue and prosper I think when you put driving Miss Daisy in the Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum of the man who was at the helm mm -hmm. of the civil rights mm -hmm. when the civil rights became an issue in this country the guy who, who stood for civil rights with his troops, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I think what an opportunity, 133 seats, we should fill that every night. Oh, definitely, and it it's, should be pretty cool. I think they're gonna be working on some civil right ex exhibit right. as you're walking down the hallway to the uh, yeah. library auditorium so that yeah. you can see some of that history before you see the play mm -hmm. or take in some of those scenarios that happened during that time uh, during intermission. So it's gonna be a great, great hand-in-hand -hand opportunity for the both of us, and we're very grateful for our friends over there at Eisenhower. You know, our community right here, we're filming in Abilene, our city of Abilene is not very big. Yeah. Dickinson County, it's where Chapman is a portion of Dickinson County. Dickinson mm -hmm. County is not very big in population. Mm. But having Eisenhower's library here, because he grew up here and he called this home, mm -hmm. is a big thing. Our ability as a community to tie all this together is a big thing. Definitely. It's a great accomplishment and, mm -hmm. and of which out of tragedy, the ability to work together, mm -hmm. that, that bodes very well for us as a community. Absolutely, yeah. We've seen so much support from so many different people and, and seen so many people coming forward and just asking what they can do to help. And the one thing I always say is come see a show. You know, that's probably yeah. the biggest thing people can do to help us. Don't forget about us as far as like what we set out to do initially, you know, all those 19 uh, seasons ago, 20 seasons of just presenting theater and, and mm -hmm. sharing that with mm -hmm. our people. And then additionally, as we incorporated some of the newer, um, newer business plans of the cinema and whatnot, mm -hmm. and we're still planning on incorporating that. It's just mm -hmm. going to take some time. And sure. so patience, of course, is a virtue. And, uh, and working together is, is a huge part of all of that. I think there's a lot of unknowns in the future. Definitely. But the one thing that is known is that a pathway to success can come out of community working together. Yep. I think this, this half of the season, or mm -hmm. the last part of the season, clearly shows what can be accomplished with people all yeah. saying we want to do some great things let's go do them mm -hmm. what a, it's a it's a a great reflection of our community spirit i, I agree strength yeah. in numbers yes <laughs> now before we go we just have sure. a couple minutes left yeah. you know great plain cedar had a vision of professional theater and and has used that vision for 20 years to create this on a stage productions in mm -hmm. the middle of our community the outgrowth of that, though, has taken Great Plains Theater to many other places. Yep. And I think of Sage mm -hmm. Tokach mm -hmm. as she's in Oklahoma going to college. I got a note from her the other day asking if she could use me for a reference mm -hmm. because not long ago she was sitting here in my chair and working yeah. <laughs> for us doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Much of that came out of Great Plains taking a risk and starting an education program yep. and saying we want to spread the opportunity amongst the young people that are interested in our craft and what we do. Yeah. And, and that's been a very healthy thing in our mm -hmm. community. So, and again, I look at that and I go, you have schools, you have Great Plains and they have the same population in the, in the middle of its kids. That's a very healthy thing. So when you, you go to Chapman, you're going to have some of your kids, your great playing players sitting out in the audience and they're gonna have their friends. Yeah. So this is another wonderful great growth opportunity Definitely. for your programs that you guys do at Great Absolutely. Plains. I'm very excited about Good. that. Good, me too. There's yeah. a lot to be excited about. A lot of challenges, but at the same time, we can do it. Yep. We can do anything we set our minds to. Doug Nettleman, <laughs> Great Plains Theater. We can do anything we set our minds to. So let's set our minds to having a great time at Shout the Mod Musical, Sounds Driving Miss Daisy, and White Christmas. Awesome. Folks, thanks for watching today. Have a great day.